Pass up the Jeep, it's good to be free. Load up the pans and fishing poles. And the highway is long, the wheels turning round. Pack up the cook stove and the bowls. Arlo and I, we hit the open road. Arlo and I are on the road. Hey everybody, well, my wife's not around again, and I thought I would make a sardine Bloody Mary for breakfast. <laughs> She'll never know. So, I was looking through my sardines and I had this can of uh, Porthos uh, sardines in olive oil, um, and I thought, uh, I've never tried Porthos sardines, I have a couple cans, and I think it's about time to try them, so I think uh, I'm going to use this can uh, for our... Uh, Sardine Bloody Mary or Sardine Bloody Caesar, whatever it's going to end up to be. Now these uh, Porthos uh, sardines are from uh, 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 Portugal um, and uh, a lot of people love these. I haven't tried them yet. Um, like I said, I, I was at the store the other day. I picked up uh, several cans, uh, some different flavors, and this is going to be my first try um, of these. So uh, this should be great anyway. Um, but I have uh, a lot of the uh, traditional um, Bloody Mary fixins here. Um, I have uh, tomato juice, uh, Worcestershire sauce, Tabasco, um, salt and pepper, of course. Um, I have some lemon. Um, and I always seem to end up uh, putting horseradish in my Bloody Mary no matter what. Even when I start out uh, not going to, I always end up putting it in. So I have some horseradish here. Um, I also have some Old Bay. This time I think I'm going to use Old Bay to rim the glass. Um, and then uh, with the uh, sardines I have left over, um, I'm going to make some nice uh, buttered toast. Here I have some, I think this is English muffin bread, um, so it should make a nice uh, crispy toast. I'm going to do some nice buttered toast and I'm going to eat my sardines um, on that. So, well, uh, let's get started. <laughs> All right, so that's what we're going to use today. Um, these actually are spiced sardines in olive oil. So that should be perfect for our Bloody Mary. Those are really pretty looking sardines there. Look at that. And that olive oil looks really nice. Mm, and they smell uh, really nice. So let's uh, set these aside here and uh, let's get started uh, making our Bloody Mary. Okay, now that we have our sardines um, open and ready to go, um, I think the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, rim our glass. So I have uh, some lemon, a little lemon wedges here. So I'm going to uh, get some lemon on the edge of my glass here. Um, and then I'm going to put some of this uh, Old Bay down here. I'm going to use that to uh, rim my glass here. There, just like that. And I'm going to set this side. So I guess next um, we have our sardines um, right here with the olive oil and the juice. I'm going to pour that right into the glass. has a nice uh, spice flavor to it. Um, kind of like that, uh, maybe like all spice kind of flavor to it. Um, okay, so we have our oil and our juice from our sardines. Um, to that, I'm going to add a shot of uh, Worcestershire sauce. Like that. Gosh, I like my Bloody Mary spicy, so a couple of, well, three or four nice big uh, shots of that salt and black pepper a 
just a little bit of salt because our uh, tomato juice is going to be uh, salty. Um, so then I'm going to put the tomato juice in. Okay, and then uh, a squeeze of lemon. So I'm going to drop that whole lemon in there. Um, and then I'm going to put a little shot of uh, horseradish. So another spoon of horseradish into there. And the reason I haven't put the uh, ice or the vodka in yet is because I just wanted to um, get that oil and the tomato juice kind of all incorporated together. Now, it might sound strange to have olive oil in your Bloody Mary, um, but uh, if you've ever had gazpacho, um, oftentimes when you make gazpacho, which is uh, um, primarily tomato juice and vegetables, um, there is quite a bit of olive oil in there and it adds a nice richness and silkiness to the gazpacho. So I think it's gonna do the same thing here um, with uh, uh, this Bloody Mary. Okay, so um, I'm going to add a little bit of ice and then our vodka. Okay. That and then I didn't mention the vodka earlier, but um, I'm going to use some uh, absolute uh, vodka here. to uh, top it off with a little bit more uh, tomato juice. Like that. Give it a little shot. Salt. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, our uh, celery garnish there and well I need to get my toast going so for my sardine so I'm gonna do that now. Okay, get our little buttered sardine toasts here. Just like that. Wow, now this looks super delicious. We have our buttered sardine toasts here. And then I have my sardine Bloody Mary. And you know, I was thinking about what I was saying about the olive oil um, uh, in with the tomato juice, which is similar to uh, uh, gazpacho. And I thought to myself, just to give this a little bit more snap, um, I don't have any uh, sherry vinegar uh, right now, but I do have a little red wine vinegar. So I'm just gonna put a little shot of uh, red wine vinegar into this, just to give it that little bit of acidity like you would in the gazpacho. And now, I think this is going to be the perfect um, accompaniment uh, to our sardine toast. So I guess the first thing I need to do is uh, try our Bloody Mary. Yeah, that uh, little bit of vinegar mm, brightens it up quite a bit and it tastes delicious. Um, you get, it's not overpowering, you know, with that um, 
sardine oil and juice that was in there. It definitely um, tastes like sardines, uh, but it's not overpowering. It's actually really perfect. I'm actually smelling more sardines coming off of this warm toast than I am uh, tasting in the Bloody Mary. Um, but I think it's a perfect amount of uh, sardine flavor um, in the Bloody Mary. Yeah, that's really good. A um, little bit of heat uh, from the uh, Tabasco, um, but uh, this is really delicious. Um, I really like that. And the, uh, the olive oil does add a silkiness uh, to that tomato juice. Well, let me get, uh, take a bite of our sardine toast. Is there any better way to eat a sardine? It's just with a nice crispy piece of toast and with some butter and then the sardines themselves. Now these uh, Porto sardines are really delicious. Um, these are spiced sardines um, in olive oil and they do have that little bit of uh, spiciness and that little bit of flavor of, um, like I said, like of allspice and that kind of a spicy flavor. Yeah, <laughs> and that's the breakfast of champions. Mm. That uh, the English muffin bread, mm. really good, nice and crispy. And I love a Bloody Mary. Oh, wow. Whether or not, maybe this is sort of like a Bloody Caesar, sort of, um, which is a, a sort of a Bloody Mary which you make with uh, either uh, um, Clamato or you use tomato juice and your, uh, and your own uh, clam juice um, to do it. But sort of have a, a similar seafoody type flavor. That is really delicious. And you know, that's another way that you can use the leftover oil and juice um, that you have in your uh, sardine cans. Mm. That's really good. And like I said, you'd think it'd be overpowering, but it's not at all. It's not overpowering at all. It's actually just the right amount of sardine flavor in here. Um, so that it's uh, very pleasant tasting. All right, well, I'm going to go sit down and enjoy the rest of this delicious breakfast. Um, if you like this video, um, please like, uh, please subscribe. That always helps us a lot and it helps our uh, channel to grow. And uh, we will see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye. Cheers and good morning. Yeah.